All right. <laughs> We're 13 Scotland Road. This is called Dream.
let me play you for a melody. Just don't let me wake up. Please don't let me wake up. Just don't let me wake up from your tree. This is called Drive You Insane. Tell you a story, and it's sad, but it's true. And the only reason I got to tell you, I don't want it to happen to you. Sometimes you think you're never gonna change this lifestyle, surely. I'm staying in a cheap motel I've been up all night Done spent up all my money I'm looking for a reason to fight Sometimes you think it's never going to change. This lifestyle would surely drive you. So crazy. to happen to you, well, 
Sometimes you think it's never gonna change. This lifestyle surely drive you. I said it surely will drive you. It will drive you. Wow, wow. Insane. This is called uh, Slap Happy. Everybody, we're here with 13 Scotland Road. I uh, want to introduce the band to you guys. Uh, so let's introduce ourselves with each of you guys. All right, I'm Bill Binford. I'm um, a guitar and singer-songwriter, I guess. Sure. Uh, my name is Ben, and I'm a lead guitarist, but I play electric guitar and acoustic guitar as well. And I am Brenda Seguin. And I play flutes and harmonicas, and I sing, and I've written a couple of these things. Great. Now, uh, let's talk a little bit about the band. We'll jump right into it. Like, how long have you guys been together? Well, let's see. Aaron and I have been together almost 21 years. Jeez. Uh, we met in South Orange, New Jersey a while back. Uh, and um, Benny has been with us about almost nine years now. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been a joyful journey, a pretty long journey, I'll be honest with you. But, right. you know, it's, it's been fun. It's fun. It, the music is, is healing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, for all of us, the music is healing. So. And so you guys got together. I mean, you found each other, you said, 21 years ago. And, yeah. Tell me about that, Aaron. How was it meeting Bill? That, the way it happened was <laughs> um, <laughs> I was... I was walking, I was walking down the street, and I couldn't see as I can't now, and so I had my cane, and I was walking down the middle of a street, and suddenly there was traffic all around me, and Bill saw me from the side, and he comes running out and said, dude, you realize you're in the middle of the street? And I was like, uh, something, I knew something was amiss, so I said, thanks, and he got me to the sidewalk, and I got to where I was going, and an hour later, he showed up. Oh, yeah, so, so the deal was, I was on my way to a friend's house to, uh, you know, play some guitars, and I saw Aaron. Like he was on a double solid line. But the thing that really d 
didn't worry me so much because he was going like straight. He wasn't weaving in and out of traffic. He was going like straight, right. you know? Yeah. And I was like, well, wait a minute, what, what, what's this? So my mind told me to keep going, but my heart said, man, you better go check that out. <laughs> so I did. I went out there and um, I put him on the sidewalk and pointed him in the direction he was going. And then I ended up at the same place with him about an hour, maybe two hours later. And it's a place where I used to play guitars, all these vintage acoustic guitars, very expensive, very lovely. Um, and they would pass them around and people would talk about them, you know, how they felt, how they played, what they liked about them. And it got to me, I started playing some chords and he pulled out a harmonica out of his pocket and just played my soul. I mean, I never had nobody do that. It was just, it was like haunting. Everybody in the room at that point knew that something was going on. Right. right. They all knew. They all knew right then and there. They were like, oh, crap. <laughs> this you guys is were destined special. to be together. Yeah. 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 About three or four months later, we got together, and it's been like that ever since. Okay. And then about nine years ago, uh, you came on board. Were you also in New Jersey, or was this when you guys had gotten to Maine? Um, so I moved to Portland. I moved to Maine first, and because um, I had really given up on music, I just wanted to relax, go fishing, and take you know, do nothing. Um, and I was living in yeah right. I was living in Naples at the time, and um, I brought Aaron up a couple times, but you know it really didn't thrill me. I mean it was really I was just tired, and so I moved to Portland. We, we sold the house in Naples and we moved to Portland. When we got to Portland, it was kind of like, it's kind of like, oh, this is fun. Right. And there was a bunch of places to play. So one night I went to this open mic right around the corner on Free Street at the Dogfish. And this guy was playing with his band. And I mean, <laughs> it was a garage band. It was like, you know, it was beginners, but there was just something about him that uh, really caught my attention. I mean, it really caught my attention. I couldn't quite pinpoint it at the time. I know what it is now. It was the determination to be better. Yeah. You know? Right. But he couldn't be better when he was surrounded by the people who were staying the same. He didn't realize that at the time, but I knew it right away. So I talked to him, and he was like, well, I don't know, Bill. Maybe um, I don't know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we went back and forth with that for a little bit. And one day he came over to the house and he started playing. And, and, and we were playing, and I said to myself, I says, you know, I better work with this guy. Win, lose, or draw, he's going to be a better guitar player. But if he takes to what I'm saying, then, you know, I could have a really, really good uh, 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 bandmate, a really good guitar player, somebody who can play what they feel and play what, what is written you know, play the moment instead of just standing up there and playing the guitar, you know, you get into the moment. It's, it's deeper than just standing up there and watching television while you're playing. You know, all that stuff is kind of like, to me, it's like, I'd rather, you know, eat lead paint. Right, right, right. Than, 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 than do that. And, you know, so it was, it was, it took time. There was time. There was, there was trial and error. There was anger. There was arguments, just like any other kind of a family. One day you hate them, the next day you love them, but you always know they're going to be there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and uh, one day, I'll never forget it, one day um, I was playing with him, and all of a sudden everything clicked. Everything at once. Whew. What a magical moment that was. And then Aaron came up permanently because I called. I was like, Aaron, man, I got this guy. I right. mean, he's just what we need, Aaron. I got this guy. I want you to meet him. His name is Benny. He's like, you know, and I went on and on and on. And um, our first encounter was um, with the three of us playing was just goosebumps. And it wasn't what it is now. Right. Okay, you have to understand, what it is now has progressed and it's like so much better than it was then. But that foundation at that point was we had never really started at that foundation before, you know? And uh, Benny's fought us every inch of the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, you know, he, 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 oh my God. There are some nights, most nights, pretty much all nights, when he starts playing and everything just lifts up. You know, you right. get, the hair in the back of your neck, you get goosebumps, you know? And Aaron, 
Well, Aaron will play right through you. You don't, right, you, right. You, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron is Aaron. It's oh, like man. this special thing. Me, I'm still learning. Right. So, <laughs> so uh, let's talk a little bit about the, the songs that we heard, and then we're going to be hearing some more songs, because this will be right in the middle of the, of the concert. Uh, like, where did you guys come up with some of these songs? Are, they, are these newer songs, older? Is it from a, a set uh, place? It seemed like you had some that were really interesting, kind of uh, had a little, uh, exotic feel. Some were just straight up real bluesy. Some were ballads. That's the object. Right, right. We don't want to lock down it, 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 you know, and be like, well, all we do is this or all we do is that. No, we, we do what we feel. If I played the songs in the sequence that I wrote them or the sequence that we wrote them or the sequence that we, we did the music and other people wrote words for us, um, it would be, the, it would be the, 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 the timeline of our lives. My life first and then Aaron coming in, and then Benny coming in. It's like, it's a soundtrack of emotions right. and feeling. And because we never feel the same, some music doesn't express the way we feel, so we have to go outside. Sometimes it's the blues. Sometimes it's dinga, 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 you know? And sometimes, <laughs> and, and, and sometimes it's just a sweet, sweet ballad. Yeah. One that makes you sit down and go, oh yeah, get it boys. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, and we, we, we vow to never stop writing in, in as many ways as we can, as many styles of music as we can. Sure. Because, I mean, you know, wouldn't it be great if all of a sudden one day you hit and you had a song in every genre? <laughs> you played it all, exactly, right? Everything right? except yeah. opera. Well, we could probably get that too. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we, we don't want to stick. It, it gets, to me, it gets boring. Yeah. You know, and everybody says, you know, you need more fast songs. Everybody says, well, you know, the ballads are fine or the instrumentals aren't going to do this. No, they express what we feel. Right. And that's that's what we like to do. Yeah. And let me ask, because Aaron, uh, you're the enigmatic guy, obviously. So how how long had you been playing harmonica, flute? I mean, had you picked uh, this up at a young age? Or? Things, I mean, I met the harmonica the way everyone does at four or five, and I didn't know what to do with it. You know, I just made noise with it. Yeah. But then in college, I just, just the most random thing, a, a, a friend of mine had a roommate who was from Texas, and he could play, and he showed me a couple of just little things that, I mean, I didn't know there were... At the time, I didn't know there were two different kinds of harmonicas, and that's a whole other thing. There is this kind, which is your front porch blues kind of, you know. But then you have, I'm going to show you this, this other one that, was, that I was playing in sometimes, and it's a whole other instrument. It's, it has a button on the side. It can change all the notes from sharp to flat. So this one is more like your Stevie Wonder harp. Wow. So it just kind of has some weird things that you, can, you have to think a lot more. It has a lot more things, but you have to be responsible for what it's going to do. It's just like having a more powerful car. Yes. Okay, it's it's a, it's a portion of it. You got to handle it different. Yes. So, and and uh, and uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you. I mean, uh, that you play two flutes sometimes at the uh, same yes. time. Yeah. That happened. Um, they're both Irish penny whistles, tin whistles, and but the way the, the Irish don't usually play them two at once. That's a very. I love ethnic music from around the world, like the serious stuff. So this is the way that people play from Eastern Europe, parts of parts of Asia and they're both the flutes just happen to both be in the same key so I could just you know so <laughs> yeah That's awesome yeah I get it. thank you Aaron for that yeah. we we make sure to 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 get everybody in uh, guitar styles. I mean, what uh, Ben is, is is. Did you have anybody that you like to pattern yourself? It's very easy. That's how I feel. It has that look that you just. Yeah. It's gliding along. I think the fact that the electric guitar like has that shine to it too. 
that's almost glowing. It doesn't feel like you're putting any effort. It feels like it's just kind of going along. It's Carlos Santana, that kind of feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, I mean, I grew up, I actually grew up liking like ACDC. Yeah. Um, I listened to like Van Halen, Metallica. I liked a lot of hard rock, heavy rock. But Guitar Hero was really what got me into guitar, which yeah. is really weird. Right. Uh, but all those hard rock songs were on yeah. there, and I was like, I, I just want to learn the real thing. Yeah. And I went to town, and, and 14, I think almost 15, 14 years later now, I, I feel like I've never taken a month off from playing because it's just been so fun. Right, It's, it's right. really great. There's always something new to learn. So I want to thank everybody. I really want to thank these guys at 13 Scotland Road. Uh, it's a great show. Uh, we'll probably have a couple more songs coming up uh, on the back end. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. This is called Spanish Harlem.
We're 13 Scotland Road. <laughs> uh, this is called Walking My Mind. Sometimes 
This is called The Weather. And we're 13 Scotland Road. We're out of Portland, Maine. Uh, the music you're hearing tonight is all original. You can come check us out at the Levitt Theater or at Amigos. The only two pl places we're really playing this summer because uh, we're pretty busy. So, enjoy. <laughs> What was gonna hold it together? 
pretty wall to go that night when that morning sunlight finally appeared and we were all still here changing the weather oh yes it was oh the way i felt you got to understand you made the snow melt you made the flowers bloom in the dry dry sand Took me over, said, hey, baby, let's roll in the clover. Oh, you got to know you could have knocked me over with a feather. Oh, yes, you could.
someday I will again feel your smile We can walk together, baby mm, We can talk for a while But if that day don't arrive And we're forever apart Well, you know I'm not concerned Cause you're here here in my heart Seems like yesterday It was so long ago I can still feel your touch, baby Ooh, But I guess you had to go There's just a one thing That I need you to know I'll always Always been loving you. Ooh. All right, this next song is called Abby's Song.
This next one is called uh, Smokestack Lightning. Shine just like gold. Train I ride on. Engine shine just like gold. Just like go. Thank you. 
This is called Miss You More. Will I miss you more When I'm waiting by the phone I miss you more When I'm sleeping all alone I miss you more When I see somebody else in love I miss you more When I hear the moans and the groans From the room up above I wouldn't miss you at all You were here with me And I wouldn't miss you at all If you were dear to me I've been thinking about you, baby well, I miss you more. When I'm walking that sandy beach I miss you more Cause I know you're out of reach. I miss you more. When I see your picture up on my shelf, I miss you more. Cause I know you're with someone else. I wouldn't miss you at all if you were here with me. about you, baby. Well, I miss you more. Cause I know what I did was wrong. I miss you more. I just want to hold you night long I miss you more baby mm -hmm. 